Hello, my name is Chen Heng. I'm going to read the story for you to listen. The story title is Escape from the Fire. And it is a, a fancy adventure by Richard Brown. Let's get start the chapters, but first too, I need to sing about London's Burning. London's Burning, London's Burning, London's Burning, Fitch the engines, Fitch the engines, Fire, 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 Pour and water, pour and water. Let's start reading the chapter together. I reading only chapter one. Chapter one. Granddad. Robert was excited. He was going to stay with his grandfather at the weekend. Lucy, his cousin, was going to stay too. She was the same age as Robert and they were good friends. Suddenly, the telephone rang. Robert answered. It was Lucy. I hope we have a great weekend, said Lucy. So do I, said Robert. It's always good fun at Granddad's. There were two things about Granddad that Robert and Lucy really liked. First, he was, an, he was very clever. He was an inventor. He invented lots of things, but mostly... He invented new kinds of mobile phones. The other thing that they liked was that Granddad loved history. His house was full of history books. When Robert and Lucy came to stay, Granddad told them exciting stories from history. The cousins loved the stories because they were true. Robert knocked on Granddad's door. Mrs. Green, the maid, opened it. Hello, Robert, she said. Come in. Hello, Mrs. Green, Robert said. How are you? I'm fine, said Mrs. Green. She took his bag from him. Your grandfather is in his study. Robert hurried into Granddad's study. Hello, Granddad, he began. Then he stopped and su in surprise. Granddad was sitting in a an armchair. His foot was bandaged. Granddad, what happened? Robert asked. I've hurt my ankle, Granddad said. The doctor says I mustn't walk for a few days. Poor Granddad, does it hurt? I'll help, and so will Lucy. Where is she? Has she arrived yet? Granddad looked worried. I'm not sure, he said. I think he has disappeared. Dis disappeared? said Robert. What do you mean? Granddad leaned towards him and whispered. I think she had traveled back in time. Bye-bye, my friends. We'll see you in the next chapter.